All right, we got to do a funny intro. Okay. Hype! 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 All right, you ready? Woo! We're, we're gonna, we got we got we got to blend our powers together. Let's go. Collab time. Yeah! <laughs> this video is sponsored by Scopely. This is not a scam. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Pretty amazing. Spider-Man finally is going to be important in Marvel Strike Force. What? I actually have an exclusive no clickbait on a new character, but not for Galaxy Ooh. of Heroes. What? How, how does that happen, right? <laughs> As you guys know, I play a lot of Marvel Strike Force on the side, and Mobile Gamer and I have too much fun making these videos. And developers like, hey, do you guys want to unveil some new Spider Verse stuff? Since we have a new Spider Man around the corner, I've played Marvel Strike Force for several years now and absolutely love it. If you want to play another game similar to Galaxy of Heroes, but has a sandbox mode for your guild and to play against your friends privately, you Use the links down below in the video description and be sure to subscribe to mobile gamer himself yeah not only do we have a new character ghost spider which is the official name or better known as spider gwen but it's ghost spider right we can't say spider gwen we yeah. gotta say we gotta say ghost spider <laughs> yeah you can edit it out and you go spider gwen. read my lips oh, read my lips right here ghost spider and then you can put <laughs> ghost spider <laughs> <laughs> and we also have a Spider-Man rework, so he's finally going to be useful. And Miles Morales getting a little bit of a touch-up as well. Also, the passive to Ghost Spider mentions four web warriors or more. So that means that there's at least maybe one more coming to the game. Yeah, brand new team, web warriors. This isn't going to work on Forge. It seems like with Carnage, with Symbiote Spider-Man, Anti-Venom. And I don't know about you. I'm kind of happy there's a whole separate team because the symbiotes already have their own thing going on. It's kind of nice seeing Spider-Man kind of get a team built around him because I don't know about you, he hasn't had a lot of viability in Marvel Strike Force for quite a while. Yo, and, and at the end of the day, this is going to be a bio raid team. I'm sure it's going to get a lot of use in Doom. You ready to break down this kit, baby? I'm ready to break down the kit. Let's, let's go. go. All right, let's talk about... Sp I, keep, I keep wanting to say... Sp Ghost but I, I, I said it earlier. You're going to have to edit that out. <laughs> edit it out. Let's go ahead and talk about Ghost Spider. And why don't you go ahead yeah. and read off that passive for us to get us started. Yeah, let's start off with the passive. Uh, when an ally Spider-Man, Miles, drops below 50% max health, apply stealth to them, then... When an enemy attacks a web warrior ally, attack that enemy for 250% damage. This means she's going to be retaliating. Retaliating? Retaliating? Retaliate. Retaliate. Retaliating all the time. And, and basically pinging them back kind of reminds me of what Call Obsidian does. She's going to get a 25% dodge chance and 25% dodge. It She's going to get 25% dodge chance and 25% damage, and then in raids. And so this is raid specific. Web warrior allies gain 25% damage on spawn. Apply speed up and evade to self and all web warrior allies. And this is the part that suggests that there's going to be more web warrior allies on spawn. If this character has four or more web warrior allies, generate two ability energy for five random web warrior allies or self that we're not at full energy. Amazing. So in case you guys don't know what energy means, and energy, it's kind of like cooldowns, basically. She's trying to speed up the cooldown so people can use all their big abilities right out the get-go when the battle hits. And they said four, right? So right now we got Ghost Spider, Spider-Man, yeah. Miles Morales. So we're not seeing the full picture this still This kind here. of actually might mean that you won't have to use the auto basic at the end of a raid. You won't be caught off guard. Yeah. You know, you'll be able to have... A, a lot of your ability energy ready to go. Let's go in and talk about the basic ability. Lithe? Lithe? How do you say this word? Live? <laughs> Live? Live spider. So on the basic, she's going to attack the primary target with 270% damage. And she's going to gain evade. But in raid, if Spider-Man Miles Morales is an ally, and if the primary target has slow, you're going to apply blind putting some control over the enemy so you can evade some attack there's going to be a lot of slows out there so i imagine that blind's going to be there and it's also noteworthy that this attack cannot be dodged mm -hmm. so if you do attack into a character that has evasion you'll you, you you'll you'll damage them and you'll take it away so that's great and keep this in mind because this is gonna be very important when we look at the spider-man rework on his unique abilities so we're going to talk about that in a little bit here but you take it away what's the first right. special she's got her special which is graceful web and i got my notes right here 
Energy cost 4 4, attack primary target for 160% damage and a 60% crit chance. Now she has a, a native crit chance of 10%, but you can put Raider on her and get a boost, right? On crit, apply ability block, chain to four to five adjacent targets for 160% damage, apply slow to two turns. So her basic attack, which needs to slow, so you can put the evasion up. There's going to be slows everywhere. Apply assist now to one random Spider-Man Miles ally. So there's going to be an assist. Going to be amazing. Yeah, a lot of bouncing around. So if you're going to use this ability right here, you probably want to start off in one of the corners so she can try to chain as many targets around, get that speed down going, which is going to pair well with that basic ability. And again, I keep, I, I don't know about you. I'm just excited. Spider-Man might actually be useful in the game. It's going to be useful. Yeah. Dude, they're going to be all over the place bouncing around. You've seen the footage of them just all Yo, over the place. They're great. Just the three of them, right? They're great. Yeah. And then I, I, mean, cause I haven't touched my Spider-Man in so long. He's only at level 70. He's, He's in the purple gear. never been that useful ever. Yeah. They, they try they did a soft rework with him a long time ago but it didn't really do much this is gonna be amazing but this is also gonna be amazing i i i purposely had you go first because i want to talk about this because it's almost like a hella almost right here ultimate ability web snare and this is kind of important because that unique ability the passive as we talked about it's gonna really boost up that energy right away energy cost three out of six attack all enemies for 330 percent damage and spread all negative effects from primary target to all secondary targets, but it will not spread uh, ability block, stun, and trauma. I actually forgot, what is trauma? Trauma is a brand new mechanic where basically uh, the opponent cannot cleanse negative effects. All right, you're the one that actually record the gameplay that we're seeing behind us here. What was your impressions of her? And what are some important things that the developer wanted you to know about this? Okay, so the main thing is that this is going to be a bio raid team. And uh, largely what we're looking at right here is incomplete because we don't know if there's going to be one or two more characters. Of course, we know that there's five new characters coming in the next patch. We know what one of them are. And there's been tons of speculation on what the other four are going to be. And I'm hopeful that it'll be two additional Web Warrior Spider characters that will make a complete wreck nerds and also i'm hoping they're going to be useful in dark dimension 5 and the iso 8 considerations they mention raider right there for increased crit chance for the raider iso who allows the ability block from the special to land more often and then they also suggest that skirmisher might be useful on her and take advantage of the skirmisher ability to clear procs and apply vulnerable and there might be an opportunity for a striker skirmisher combo we'll have to see Rewards! And Spider-Man's like, what? he's like the first character you get in Marvel Strike Force, right? Yes, he's the very first character very in the game. One. Oh, right, yeah. So this is a big deal right here. So first things first, stat increases pretty much across the board. Health increased by not 68%, not 70%. But 69%! 69%! And that's super important. If it was 70%, it, it wouldn't work the same. Yeah, it'd be terrible. <laughs> Next up, we have an increase in damage by a 24%, not a 69%, and not 23 or 25. 24 apparently was the sweet spot here. This is pretty big. Armor increased by 700%, and then focus, which is basically applying debuffs for the most part, is increased by 19%. And his resistance stat with his built-in tenacity is increased by 36%. But we got to talk about the kid. Those are just numbers. What do the numbers mean, Mason? Go ahead and tell him. In addition to those stat increases, he's also getting an extra 5% speed. And then also, in, uh, in raids, when a negative effect is applied to an enemy, apply a random positive effect from the list to all web war allies. Defense up, offense up, speed up, deflect. And if you look at the footage, there's positive effects everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> I think that is the main thing. And then his special now will have drain. His basic attack will always chain. And in raids, he will have an 80% chance to evade. All of this is amazing. Makes him a lot more uh, important for sure. Yeah, especially in those Doom raids right here. Ooh. Being able to get those buffs to constantly spread around. And then again, uh, did you talk about that unique ability part where anytime someone's uh, evading, you're filling up that character's terminator by 10%. And that's where the big tie is with Ghost Spider. All the blinds, all the evade she's getting, all these buffs, all the evasion that's happening. You're going to get yep. tons of turn meter pumping through the team's veins, baby. Amazing. So Amazing. I, I don't want to, I don't know. Do you think it's going to be kind of on the same level of Symbiote Spider-Man, how the tier, not Symbiote Spider-Man, Carnage, how they get the turn meter, like, flowing. And then once you got a train going, it just keeps going. Do you think it's going to get to that extent? Or is it going to be maybe yeah. a little bit lesser? 
So the, the the cool thing about symbiotes is they snowball. The problem yeah. with that is that if you don't get them into that the snowball, snowball mode, yeah, if you don't get the positive effects up on you know from anti venom and you don't get the debuffs down, it really can unwind very quickly if you don't get it. You know, so they and they've almost tuned it that way, so it, it becomes a very temperamental match. <laughs> and I don't. And this, of course, I think is going to be better. Uh, but the jury's out. We have to see what those other. Uh, you know what? Yeah, if, yeah. What, 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 what are their web warriors going to be? I mean, we have no idea. So that, the, it's an incomplete puzzle at this point. It, it's going to be true to the form of Spider-Man. Yeah. Very quick, very, very quick, agile, very fast, agile. A lot of yeah, 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 meter, yeah. A lot of blinds, a lot of evasions, a lot of negative effects, a lot of stunning, a lot of slowing with Spider. It, it just feels very Spider-Man-ish. While we're here, I'm going to start upgrading my Spider-Man. Here we go. We're going to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. All right, cool. Let's keep moving on the video. Upgrade him now. <laughs> I know you have him at level one. All right, last but certainly not least, we got Spider-Man. Spider-Man Morales, not getting as extensive of a tweak as Spider-Man, and not as extensive, of course, as Ghost Spider, but nonetheless, big stat increases across the board, 60% health increase, 72% extra damage boost, 380% armor increase, focus, i.e. potency, being increased by 18%, and the resistance being increased by 20 Eight percent, but uh, really, it's just the passability, getting the biggest change here. And why don't you go well, ahead and spill huge. the beans? This is huge. Whenever a web warrior ally dodges, apply speed up. So there's going to be speed up everywhere. Yeah. And they're going to be dodging everywhere. I imagine this is going to be a lightning fast team. Lots of negative effects. Lots of evasions. A lot of dodging. A lot of blinds. The whole deal. I think if you can get blinds out there, that's going to be amazing. I think what's also worthy to know, of course, the rest of his kit's not getting rework, but he's got a great AOE, uh, what I call it, buff, meaning, but disruption. So you're yep. able to get that disruption going, get the blinds going everywhere. Got ooh. The turn meter removal, yep. Got turn meter removal, and he's got, yeah. So ooh, it's going to be an interesting piece of the puzzle. Here's the question. You said you think there's two more Spider-Verse characters coming, right? It's not been just, I mean, all we really know is that we're looking at Ghost Spider. Mm -hmm. Ghost Spider. Ghost Spider's passive. It says, on spawn, if this character has four or more Web Warrior allies, generate two ability energy for five uh, random Web Warrior allies, and... Uh, you know, they put out the infographic last week showing five mystery characters. One of them was magic. Tons of people have speculated what that bottom row is. Mm -hmm. And I would, I personally would not be surprised if we got a total of three Web Warrior new characters along with the two reworks. I think, I, think there, I mean, there's been some rumors and some leaks. The only we know about is, is uh, the only one we know about is magic. And then the other four... Largely, one of them has been predicted to be from the What If, basically Ooh. the T'Challa Star Lord, Ooh. which is going to be that the Black be cool. Panther Star Lord. And so maybe the other three are going to have something to do with this team here. I mean, one of them is going to be Ghost Spider. All right, any last words you want to bring up about Ghost Spider, the reworks that we're seeing here before we head off? I'm totally excited to see what the other two characters it is, is and how they're going to work. Mostly, I'm also interested to find out if they're going to work well in Dark Dimension 5. Boundless, if you're listening. <laughs> Iron Man. Iron Man yes! also. Yes! Iron Man. Dude, Holy they, cow. They, 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 they've come through. So they basically, there was three that I had issues with. I had yeah. issues with Wolverine, mm -hmm. Spider-Man, and Iron Man. And now two out of the three have been... Uh, Reworked and have homes. I don't know and how Iron Man is so bad. Stuff. <laughs> he's a legendary he's character. A legendary character. It's such a big character for Marvel, and he's just so mediocre. I don't he know. If, I don't Marvel. know if Power Armor wants anything to do with him anymore. <laughs> he's actually the worst member of Power Armor. All right, well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out Mobile Gamers Channel, where he's going to do more gameplay when she comes live to Marvel Ooh. Strike Force. And again, a big thank you for Marvel Strike Force for giving us an exclusive to have fun together, and of course, for sponsoring this video here and most importantly mobile boomer what do we always say around here it's mediocre it's to be the empire that's today. pretty mediocre <laughs> i i think it's good <laughs>